hello everyone i hope you're all doing good now i bought a few coins in the auction recently and this is one of them we'll be opening it up and see what this but first i uh, just want to give you some advice when you buy or you know when you do a bid in coins or stamps or any collectibles in some auctions uh, first uh, please uh, you know uh, do some research on how much uh, they sell for or how much uh, they're worth especially because some sellers of course will you know will want big uh, big prices for you know for their collections and of course they will you know they will sell it uh, quite uh, expensive so do a little research on on uh, the items you're gonna be buying and second of all uh, check the feedbacks as well for for the sellers you're gonna be bidding or buying from if you see some you know some dodgy uh, dodgy feedbacks or you know just uh, be aware or be careful and uh, most of all of course check and uh, do some research if uh, the one you're you've been buying or you're gonna be buying is uh, a fake or not and uh, information are all out in the internet so just uh, do a little research and uh, and be careful you know uh, me I, I bought you know I bought these items or these coins uh, but uh, before I do bid, uh, I see what they're worth first, and uh, I don't, you know, I, I just uh, set a price that you know that uh, I'm comfortable with, that you know that uh, I know that you know I, I will be winning, not you know not losing, just to want to buy it. So set a price, like you know, if, let's say a coin is worth five dollars, you know, just set it from three dollars or so you know like you, you wouldn't be you know you don't have to pay a lot for you know for those uh for those things uh yeah just you know know their work that's what i meant you know because uh you'll end up losing you know uh some some coins really you know really uh go high and sometimes you know even though that they're beautiful, maybe uh, they they made uh, like around the hundred millions of those. You know, it wouldn't be worth much too. So, yeah. All right, we'll see what you know what this one is. So, okay. Right. I think it's, uh, it's nice, nicely wrapped again, as usual. Here we go, it's nicely wrapped, <laughs> very nicely wrapped. Oh wow. <laughs> Just opening it, opening it up, you know, you know the, you know that uh, that the seller knows what they're doing because <laughs> it's uh, protected, really. So here we go, nearly there. Oh wow, really top. <laughs> here we go. Here it is. Oh wow, okay. These are nice coins. 
one more, one more. Okay. So what do we have here? This is a coin from South Africa from 1944 and it is a one penny. See King George the Sixth. It's a nice one. Uh, this one. This one is a nice one. Looks like it's uncirculated. Uh, it's from Mauritius. Five cent, 1978. Yeah, you can see Queen Elizabeth II. And this other one. This other one is uh, from Caribbean. British Caribbean Territory. 1958 Eastern Group. Oh, what? Wow, it's a nicely toned, it's a lovely coin. This one, this one is 10, 10 cent. From Australia, see Queen Elizabeth, and this last one. What's this? What's this one? Let's zoom it. So this one is, uh, alright, oh, okay, so this is a Queen Victoria coin, and it's 1885, it is a very old coin, and it is from Jamaica, it's a parting from Jamaica. Actually, yeah, this is the reason that's why I bid on, on these coins. Yeah. As much as the other coins are lovely, this is an old rare one too. They don't make uh, much of these ones. So yeah, it is a lovely coin, eh? Parting. I think it's also silver. Oh, wow. Old world coin, but yeah, of course, you know. Uh, if it's uh, rare, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, better. So yeah, there we go. We got, uh, these, uh, five lovely coins from different, uh, countries, different places. And a rare one too, so. Oh, thank you very much and have a good day.